Hi Year um, 13, this is a revision video about something called the Internet of Things. Could be something that comes up in paper two. Very, very easy and simple thing to understand. Sometimes abbreviated to IO2. Um, sounds like a made up term, but basically what it means is when lots of devices, so anything electronic, when they are all connected or networked together, um, over the internet, basically. Um, so normally it uses Wi-Fi, but it's when lots of um, devices, it could be your phone, it could be your Fitbit, it could be your uh, fridge at home, it could be used in manufacturing for manufacturing equipment. It's when those devices are no longer just functioning by themselves or being isolated, they are now connected to the internet and they can share information back and forth. So in a nutshell, here's a definition. The Internet of Things is the concept of connecting any device, um, as long as it's got an on off switch, to the internet and to other connected devices. So they can be connected together, um, lots of the same types of devices, or it can just be to the internet. Um, and the idea is that, that they then they collect and they share data about the way they are being used. So for example, um, it can be uh, your phone and if you go to a certain website or you go to a certain um, you listen to a certain band all the time Spotify will connect is connected to the internet obviously because you stream they collect that data about you and they use that to then predict things like other things that you would like so oh, you listen to this band well you might like this band um, and all of that kind of data Netflix does it you watch this movie you might like this movie um, and also um, the sort of fitness devices like um, Fitbits and things like that will measure how much exercise you do and maybe make suggestions of what you could do to improve or maybe suggest you different exercises that would be suitable just kind of for you. So it's a way of collecting data, it can be used for marketing and things, but can also be used to make our lives um, easier. So I've got some examples here of what the Internet of Things can be used for. Um, they can be used in things like smart fridges. So they can use cameras and radio frequency identification, which I know that you've, you've done this before, little tags that can be scanned. Um, and say, for example, this could be used in something like a, uh, at home, if you're really posh and had a really posh fridge, or it could be used in things like uh, supermarkets, where they see how, um, how often things are being sold and if the food has been taken away then the system will automatically order food as it's being used so it will automatically replenish um, the milk that you've used the eggs that you've used um, so smart fridges connected to the internet um, can can automatically order food as it's being used um, there are other consumer examples here which i'll go through in a minute the one that i want to talk about um, about its use in manufacturing systems could come up. AQA are horrible. They seem to be at the moment anyway. And if you are asked about how it's used in manufacturing systems, it could be to um, track, track products as they're going through manufacturing. So it could be to track products or materials as they are making their way through the uh, factory that data could then be sent to the consumer so they can see how far along their product is, or it could be sent to um, a shop to see you know, how quickly that product's gonna come in. It could trigger um, an ordering system. All oh, right, we've got our uh, material in now to make this device. We can now order the components needed. So remember, just-in-time manufacturing is all about ordering things when they are needed if you are able to track the movement of products and parts throughout your factory using the Internet of Things by connecting your scanners on the assembly line to your computers and to other parts of your business, you can share data and communicate more effectively with your customers and your clients. I hope that makes sense. Um, some other consumer examples, smart microwaves. These would automatically detect like what you're cooking and they would cook it for the right length of time. So they could use internet information, they could use um, 
they could use quite clever sort of cameras or things like that inside the microwave that would automatically detect the weight or the size of whatever you are cooking to actually cook it for the correct time so you don't actually absolutely nuke your um, tomato soup. Um, Self-driving cars are massively connected to the internet of things. They use lots of sensors to detect objects in their path but they would also use uh, maps um, for things like traffic information. So that is connection to the internet and connection um, you know, to, to, to the internet. I think I said that twice, but just to get it in there for you. Things like wearable fitness devices, they measure your heart rate, the number of steps you've taken, and then they can use that information to suggest exercise plans that are tailored to you. So that's kind of using your data to provide custom, um, custom kind of plans just for you. Um, and this one's really interesting. I never heard of this one before, but footballs can be connected to the Internet of Things through sensors that are in them. Um, and it can be it can track how far and fast they are. I don't know why they would be thrown. I would imagine they would be kicked. But there we go. It can record those statistics uh, via an app and then that can be used in training purposes. So if you're a professional football team, you might want to track how much power um, is being I don't know how hard your team are kicking the football. I don't know. You know what I mean? It can be used to sort of track um, and collect data to be used to improve that team's performances. OK, so this is the Internet of Things, devices that are connected. They are sharing data. They are then able to predict things. They are able to suggest things to customers. So there's a huge, massive benefit to products being connected over the Internet of Things. Um, if you still really are not understanding this, um, I was going to embed a video into this, but I'm in school making this video and Mr. Aris doesn't like me downloading things. So I literally typed into YouTube the Internet of Things and this is quite a good video uh, and this is quite a good video. Um, they're not very long, about five or three minutes long. They just give you a little bit more information about what the Internet of Things is about. And this could be something that comes up in the exam. So definitely worth revising. OK, I hope that was useful. See you on the next video.